What's going on YouTube? It's Ben and in this video I'm gonna give you five ways that you can level up right now. everybody my name is Ben Nader if you're brand new to this channel I am an internet entrepreneur I run a recruiting agency I also teach a recruiting mentorship program and if you're into business entrepreneurship anything of the sort I talk about those things every single day and you should definitely become a subscriber by smashing that red subscribe button down below so we're about to finish the first quarter of 2020 and I'm certain that most all of you set pretty high lofty goals for this year and I hope that you are all ready to hit them. I know personally that my goals are quite extensive and I am definitely looking forward to smashing them by the end of this year. And to do so, we need to do something called leveling up. You cannot hit your goals unless you go somewhere you have not been before. Leveling up needs to happen in every aspect of your life, from your health, to your wealth, to your relationships, to every single thing that you do. It isn't just a business thing, it's an everyday life thing. All right, so let's start off with number one, and this is don't get bogged down with the details. So I wanna make this really, really easy. You may have set goals that are complicated, intricate, or somewhat maybe sounding unattainable, but here's how you don't get bogged down by the details and don't get stuck in the mud. Now I'm sure a lot of you have set pretty lofty goals for 2020. They may be complicated or intricate and quite cumbersome, but it doesn't have to be that way because you need to simplify. The way I level myself up by doing this is by looking at big goals that I have and cutting them down into bite-sized chunks, right? Anybody can eat an elephant one bite at a time. Although that might be crude and disgusting, it's 100% true. And that's exactly how you need to level up. You need to look at your lofty, complicated goal as one large goal that can be cut up into a billion different pieces that you can accomplish as tasks over a set period of time. When you do a lot of little things to accomplish a large thing, you're getting to your goal. Level up by understanding you don't need to focus on the huge prize at the end, but all the steps you need to get there. Now my second piece of advice for leveling up is to multiply your goals. Just hear me out on this one. I understand that you may have already set goals, already set ambitions and things you wanna accomplish, but understand that most of the time we're undervaluing ourselves and we don't think we can accomplish as much as we actually can. With that in mind, you should go take a look at your goal sheet, go take a look at whatever ambitions or whatever things you wanna accomplish and multiply those things, sometimes by 5X or even 10X. If it's a revenue goal or if it's a status achievements or if it's something of that nature, you need to relook at that and multiply that out. Usually, you're able to see that goal multiplied out, totally attainable, and you've undervalued yourself, usually about 50%. My number three tip on leveling up is to change your environment. Now check it out guys, I don't know if this applies to every single person watching this video, but a lot of the time your mood, your ambition, your drive is driven by your environment. Lots of people cannot separate themselves from their environment and what they want to accomplish. And this is a really, really big deal because our environment has a huge impact on our mind. A few ways to level up by changing your environment is to basically just go do your work elsewhere. Maybe you're working at home and you need to go work at a shared office space. Maybe you're working at a sales company and you need to go work at a different sales company. Maybe you're hanging around a lot of people that you shouldn't be and you need to hang around new people. After all, we are the average of the five people that we surround ourselves with, so you need to be surrounding yourself with both people and an environment that is conducive to your goals, conducive to the things you want to accomplish, and just conducive overall to leveling yourself up. Now my fourth tip on how to level up is to get your mind right. 
Are you in a place of depression? Are you feeling low? Are you having a low vibration as far as your energy output? Are you in a place of scarcity? Are you in a place of abundance? What are you thinking? Is your thought pattern bringing you down? Is your thought pattern bringing you up? All of these things have to do with your mindset and every single thing in your mindset dictates pretty much everything in your life. To do this, I highly recommend just thinking about centering yourself. Understanding exactly what you want to accomplish. Understanding exactly how to get there. Putting your focus on that. Understanding and thinking about all of the things that are around you. Are they benefiting you? Are they hurting you? Are things naturally helping you out or are they naturally hurting you? This is really important stuff. Getting your mind right involves so many different elements and you really need to take time to focus on this. Getting your mind right is just like getting your body right. They're one and the same. They act the same way and they each interact with each other. Now the fifth and final way to level up I think is by smashing that like button because that'll just boost this for the YouTube algorithm and share this video with a ton of new people. No, like in all reality that will totally happen. Guys, I hope that provided immense value to you going into the last month of the first quarter of 2020, going strong, ready to hit our goals and leveling up. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button if you would. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit that alert button so that you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.